How you doing? Welcome back to Dan's Buddha Bodega, where today we're going to be going over a live sauce from Cresco, and the strain is Durban. So let's just get right into it. If you were to ask me what delicious treats come out of South Africa, well, I could only think of a few things. Only things I've had. Things like guava and mango and bush meat. But as a cannabis lover, I would be arrested for negligence if I failed to mention Durban, an African land race strain from, well, Africa. Now, Durban is a strong sativa with a rep for being very skunky however with the extracts it's not usually that way when you open this the first thing you're gonna smell more or less is pine saw and mothballs not always the most pleasant smell but I mean it's not bad but I believe that the as far as superficial beauty goes this actually is a pretty clean looking extract. I mean, more like goopy applesauce than anything. But, I mean, just the color, nice clean amber, what you're looking for. Mmm, mmm, good. I can't wait to taste this. Now, when it comes to flavor, Durban can hold its own. Right off the bat, you're getting citrus, orange, lemon, lime, you name it. You get the whole citrus family. Then, as that mothball flavor creeps in, you get a nice taste of a woodsy, almost floral finish like patchouli. You know, kind of like smoking a hippie. Effects wise, this strain does not pull any punches. It takes you from 0 to 150 miles per hour in 0.03 seconds flat with a very heavy cerebral rush that starts right away and doesn't let you go until your brains are completely jelly. It's calming, it's relaxing, it's heavily cerebral, so beginners beware. So if you love strong cannabis and sativa strains and haven't tried Durban, you need to get your ass in your car over to the dispensary and get some right now. You owe it to yourself. Well, guys, I'd like to say thank you to all my friends, family, subscribers, viewers, everybody that makes this process so enjoyable. And thanks for the view.